Hi guys, let's take a look at contribution. Now contribution is one of those uh, concepts in management accounting that's vitally important for your future studies. You're going to see contribution over and over again in future topics of management accounting. So it's very important to now stand still and make sure that you understand what it means and how to determine it. So contribution is simply sales less variable costs. So it's our, so total contribution would be total sales less total variable costs, which include manufacturing costs and non-manufacturing costs. So we need to classify costs based on its behavior and then split it between variable and fixed. So when we deduct our variable costs from our sales, we get contribution. And it's called contribution because this is the amount that um, additional units or selling additional units contributes towards covering our fixed costs. Or this is the amount that selling additional units contributes towards our profit. Now contribution could also be calculated on a per unit basis. And that's the nice, one of the nice things about contribution. So since sales increase in direct proportion to number of units, that means our selling price per unit will stay constant. And since variable costs also increase in direct proportion to the number of units, the variable cost per unit stays constant. So if we deduct our variable cost per unit from our sales price per unit, we get contribution per unit which will also then stay fixed on a per unit basis, and, or it will increase in direct proportion to the number of units. So that's contribution. Now contribution margin is also sometimes referred to as contribution ratio. So when you hear the word margin, um, that usually refers to something that's divided by sales or a percentage of our sales value. So contribution margin would be a total contribution divided by our total sales. And that will give you a percentage of sales. So th this is how we calculate contribution. It's very important. We're going to use this over and over again. So in the next lecture, we'll look at why contribution is important and what can we use it for.